right, here we are, finally on our way out to do the dive. The brave helmsman, man of the course, heading out to what wreck are we diving again? Butsu. The the what <laughs> That's Mr. Shane Ra. He's one hell of a helmsman, man. He steers better than nobody. And over to my right, we got Justin. Say hi to the say hi to the little people, Justin. What's up? He came along at the last minute to help us out. He's gonna be watching the boat, taking care of us. And as you can see, we got a full load here. We got plenty of beer. We got our tanks, got our barbecue, all of our stuff. Little itty bitty boat and a whole lot of stuff. Oh yeah, and of course the watermelon, which we decided to fill with vodka. You know, because uh, you know we want to dive really well narked. It's part of our uh, it's part of our narcosis prevention program. Hey Shane, show us some leg, bro. What's that? Show us some leg. Don't make this. It's hard to shoot. <laughs> Har. <Harr. laughs> All right. And of course, I'm under the cover here because, as you can see from this. The weather sucks. Absolutely blows. And I'm not taking a camera outside because it's just going to get freaking wet. I don't like that. All right, more later. Water and electronics go together. Well, just douse All right, here's Shane doing his best to burn my boat down. You're laughing now. <laughs> well, we have had a pretty productive day. Wouldn't you say that, Shane? Oh yeah, very productive. All right, why don't you, why don't you tell, tell everyone about today? No, you're the narrator. You, you have to find it. No, but you're the one on camera. You do it. Mm. Well, we did find the Mutsu. We found the Mutsu. Well, we certainly did. With a compass and a chart. <laughs> Not too bad. Nope. And this right here is the lovely area that we picked to anchor off for the night. The Mutsu Memorial is right there. And then right here is the little harbor where we're going to pick up Mike and Phil tomorrow because they're losers and they couldn't come with us today. Real calm night. Finally the rain quit. So far, so far so good. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. All right. Then I just almost kicked over Justin's beer. That'd be alcohol abuse. <laughs> that would be alcohol abuse. So did you enjoy your nap? I feel a lot better. Now <laughs> I've seen steak and beer. And nice. All right. Uh, can y'all have me a fork and a plate from down yonder? Fork and plate. Okay, coming right up. All right. You can tell that Shane is really stressed out for tomorrow's dive. <laughs> Well, we're all camped out. The sun's going down. And oh, that's a pretty scene right there. It's beautiful. What a beautiful night we got here. Oh, no. <clears throat> Justin, any words of wisdom for tomorrow? Have fun, be safe. All right, that's good. <laughs> Hope we find the ship. What about you, Shane? Shane, any words of wisdom for tomorrow? How does it? How does it go? Verdi, Verdi, Verdi. Vini, Vidi, Vici. Vini, Vidi, Vici. What the hell does that mean? We came, we saw, we conquered. <laughs> nice. I think I can deal with that. Awesome. <coughs> Well, next time I turn this camera on, it will be daylight on the day of the dive. All right, well, yesterday, or today, actually, we went down, we actually found the wreck, and uh, we tried to do our best to anchor above it, but unfortunately, because we uh, didn't have a heavy enough anchor, we just kind of slid right off the top of it. And, but we went down, the visibility was great, 20 foot plus, and uh, really stoked for tomorrow. I think things are going to be going pretty good. So hopefully, uh, 
get some video uh, down from the wreck. It's pretty, pretty cool. How long have you been planning this trip? I've been planning this trip solid uh, for about two and a half months now. Wow. And I've been, we've been talking about this, this dive for over six. And uh, it's kind of, kind of neat to finally have it here. It's really exciting. About how often do you think this dive spot gets hit? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, I know that there's a dive charter out of Hiroshima that sometimes go out and hit it, but um, you know, there's no dive buoy of any kind. There's no marking for the wreck. We had to use a compass and a and a chart to go find it. And uh, yeah, I don't think. And because of the depth, visibility, and conditions down here, it's really not a dive for most recreational divers. It's cool. You guys will be elite. I know. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, what are your uh, your goals and hopes for tomorrow? Uh, right now at this point, just to actually get down there, see it, touch it, and uh, you know, I'm gonna bring the camera down and hopefully we get some pictures and uh, bring just... back one of the gun barrels. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no. Uh, if we could bring back something that would be cool, but you know it's a sacred site, so we gotta look but don't touch. You exactly. know, so we'll see. We don't even know what to expect down there. That'll be pretty pretty neat though, diving a piece of history like this. All right. So look forward to tomorrow. Yep. You bet. Get rested. <sighs> Batter's low. No, it's not. Batter's low. No, it's not. <laughs> Aha! We got somebody. It's the Hobbit. Hey, what's up? Hey, 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 yeah. hey, Scott. What? Hold everything. Mood two dive. Take one. There. There's our fearless leader. No. It's not very fearless now. Alright, setting up the deco rig. Should I run the deco off the back or off the stern? Let's run it off the back. Water's like glass. Beautiful day for a wreck dive. Which one are you going to follow down? Uh, yeah, we'll follow the bow line down. Alright. And your video uh, host. Chart and help. cigarettes go down below. I'm going to go under. Yeah. I need the wreck. And. Uh, yeah, my. Alright, the teams. Preparing and figured, is that some of them are already in the water. I wasn't sure if I was going to use them, but <coughs> use them. Got Michael and Scotty. How's okay, the water, what Scotty? Does Scotty, know? Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> How's the water? Okay, I got to get off this line, Scott, but hang on. So you're telling me it's not secured. You lied to me. It's secured, but not right there. <laughs> it's secured for like 50 feet out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, pull it now, pull it now, see how, how far you go. That's good. All right, it's not. It's just looped around, nothing big. Hey, Mike? Yeah. Is that your dive knife? Yes. Never mind, disregard. Bill and Shane are gearing up now. They'll be next in the water. I'll stay back and watch the boat. We have a, we have a buoy, a uh, A small one. It's a beautiful day. The sun decided to come out. Thank God. You want your camera? Okay. Yes. It's a nice view. Uh, all right. Uh, hey, Justin. Yes. Can you go to the bow and get that yellow line with the small buoy on it, please? No problem, Captain. <laughs> the water. Here it is. It's right down, 76 quiet. feet below us. I'm peeing. Quiet. On the top of the wreck. It's a lot shallower than it was reported. Okay. Where are you setting your cup set? Hey Justin. <laughs> the coolest thing about it is that we found the wreck with the hundred dollar rangefinder, a compass, and an and a, and a chart. <laughs> That's incredible. Next time we see them, they'll be uh, wreck divers officially. Take lots of pictures.
after a great dive. Any words of wisdom, Shane? After he gets done eating. better than yesterday. A little rough. Not too bad. Everyone else is back. We dropped them off. They're bringing their gear. Now we're just going to head back to Iwakuni. She, at the time of her build, of her, uh, of her commission, she was the one of the most heavily armed ships in the entire Japanese fleet and quite possibly the world. She took part throughout her career in the, uh, the main battle group for the Battle of Pearl Harbor, also with the uh, Battle in the Solomon Islands and the Battle of Midway. Uh, Admiral Yamamoto himself uh, went on the ship a couple times. She was the pride of the Japanese, Imperial Japanese Navy. On June 8, 1943, at 11.04 a.m., she suffered an explosion on the number three turret that sheared the ship in two pieces. Pretty much every single piece of, uh, of, the, of artifacts from the ship that you see over at the museum over near Toa Town on Oshima Island, uh, all that was brought up during those salvage operations. Most of it's remarkably preserved, and just some uh, really neat artifacts, gas masks, swords, uh, uniforms. The death toll for the explosion and the sinking was 1,121 Japanese sailors and officers. Battleship Mutsu once the pride of the Japanese Navy, has laid on the sea floor for over 60 years. In that time, less than a dozen Americans have ventured to see the wreck for themselves. A group of divers from Iwakuni set out to change that. They've spent months researching, training, and locating the Mutsu so they could see this sunken monument, a site that has become a tomb for over 1,000 Japanese sailors. But before he could plunge into the water, diver Scott Rich had to find the wreck. With a compass, charts, and a global positioning system, he located the ship's position and the team of divers suited up. When we first were descending down the anchor line, it, you're just staring into this blankness and all of a sudden, just all at once, there she is. In the end, the dive that took five months to plan lasted around 30 minutes. Rich said all the work paid off when he saw the reactions of the other divers. It was pretty apparent on their faces uh, when they came up. Everybody that went down on the dive yesterday, uh, you could see it in their face that they all took it in. Uh, just being around uh, a wreck that's so massive, that it carries such historical weight, that where so many people died, uh, that they all, you know, felt, a, you know, like that they were able to touch a piece of history. Rich says that nothing in his life has compared to this diving experience. This, this dive has been the crowning achievement of my life so far. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to top it. And it seems like Rich just can't get enough. He'll be returning to the Mutsu wreck next month for another chance to stand in the shadow of this massive piece of history. From the wreck of the Imperial battleship Mutsu, I'm Lance Corporal Christiana Ripley, Marine Corps Air Station, Iwakuni, Japan.